Hi guys, welcome to our channel of Sciences and Mathematics. Today we are going to look at a concept in statistics and that is concerning the measure of variability and uh, dispersion. Of course, this is going to give us a basis of understanding the concept of range and the mean absolute deviation, which of course is going to assist us in trying to figure out how our different range or different range of data are being treated in this uh, concept of uh, statistics. So thank you and welcome. So as I've said, uh, we, we, we looked at the concept of uh, one of the measures of central tendency in our previous video. So today still we're going to look at the concept in statistics. And this is the concept of uh, measures of variability and dispersion. Now, there are some cases whereby you find this uh, specific range of data that is, uh, of course, spread out. And it's, uh, of course, it's, uh, essential for us to understand that uh, there's some ways in which we need to treat this kind of data for it to give us the relevant information that we may require from it. Now, the concept of range that I've talked about, the last time we talked in our videos about the concept of class, and that, it, that was for group data. Now for range, range tells us about the difference between the largest value and the smallest value. For example, for an group data. So this basically refers to the, the difference or the, the difference between the largest and the smallest value. A set of data. So in that case, of course, uh, for and group data, we are going to try and figure out how this range can be going to be dealt with. Now, let me give an illustration for this so that we can be able to understand this concept I'm talking about. So we have this set of data. This is 36. So this uh, category of data that uh, we have listed in one of our videos, and we called it uh, now introduction actually to statistics. And we call it a group data. And the last one is 84. So basically, we have two sets. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six sets of data that we refer to as n. So we have 20, 36, 54, 10, 102, and 84. So in that case, <coughs> we have defined the range as uh, the difference between the largest value and the smallest value for this set of uh, data. Therefore, it's good for us to try and identify out which is the largest and which is the smallest value from this range of data. So, as we can see from this, uh, this uh, term that is appearing there, so therefore it's going to make our smallest value in this set of one group data. And then if we try to look at uh, the other values, this is the largest value, which is, of course, beyond uh, 84, so we have the largest. So therefore, we can define the range from this set of data as the difference between the largest value, which is 102, and the smallest value. And therefore, we are going to get from this set, set of data that our range is going to be 92. So in this case, this is going to assist us in defining these two specific concepts that we have talked about. And that is going to lead us to a step or maybe a, a, a procedure that is going to assist us in finding the mean absolute deviation. Now let's try to see, of course, now that we have defined range and try to give an illustration, what does this concept of variability and dispersion mean? Variability. What does it mean in this step? topic of this statistics that we're discussing. So in this case, uh, variability refers to how far apart data points lie from the, each other or from the center of distribution. So in this case, in this case variability is how far apart. This is how far apart data points lie. From 
each other and of course from the from the center of distribution this in actual sense is going to pertain to the mean of course but from the definition we're going to use a graphical representation in order to try and figure out or try to give a, an illustration of what this term variability means but in an essence we have defined it that variability is how far apart data points lie from each other and from the center of distribution now suppose we have a graph of frequency uh, Again, it's the set of data that we had listed, and we can be able to show this concept of variability. So now that we have seen this definition, I'm just going to do away with this so that we can be able to give a graphical representation of this concept of variability. So suppose we have a set of data of frequency. This again is the set of data. So, so therefore, we're going to see that uh, for dispersion, or for variability, I'm going to use these two graphs. This one, maybe I use this other one. Just like that. And this from the center of dispersion, of course, this is what we call the, <coughs> the mean. So therefore, I'm going to indicate that one as such. So if you try to look at these two graphs for the first one, as we say that it is uh, variability is how far apart data points lie from each other and the center of distribution. Now that we have indicated that this is a center of distribution, so how far apart it lies for the first one, this is the first graph that we are just in, implying. So this one has close, of course, uh, just a minute. I'm going to have a third, a third graph here for still illustration so that it is a concept that I need to emphasize on. So I'm going to do away with that one. So this is a, a third range of data that is, of course, appearing like that. So for us to give the difference or this illustration for vari variability, and this one does not go far away from the center of distribution, therefore it's going to have a low variability. So it doesn't go away from the center of distribution, therefore it's going to have low variability. Now for the second distribution curve, which is coming from this point to this one, from the center of distribution, this is going to have a medium variability with respect to the other two. So it's going to have a median variability. Now for the last one, this is going to have a wider or the difference between the, the, the center of distribution and that graph is very high. Therefore, this is going to have a high variability. From the term vary, so therefore this is going to have a high variability. And that is illustrating, illustrating the concept of variability, how far apart they are from the midpoint. So going forward, of course, we talked about the concept of variability and dispersion. We will also try to look at the second concept that is dispersion. And these two are going to assist us in trying to figure out how we can find the mean absolute deviation. So I'm also going to use a graph to illustrate for the second one, which we have talked about, of course, as uh, the concept of dispersion. So just one, just going to use the graph. So this is a uh, frequency. And this, of course, the, the center of course of dispersion. So we are going to have uh, the first, and then we are going to have the second one, just like that. So in that case, if there's a distribution of data, data that is giving nature to that extent, this is going to assist us explain the concept of dispersion. Now from definition, the concept of dispersion is the extent to which the 
the distribution is stretched or squeezed out. So this is the extent of the extent to which a distribution has been uh, just give us some the extent to which a distribution has been stretched or squeezed. So from this simple definition, we can see that this one has been squeezed and this 